The designers have gone wild with color, texture, and stitch patterns in the next collection from Leisure Arts and Blue Ridge Yarns. It's all about numbers as we bring you the Sassy Swing Sweater from Leisure Arts and designer Lisa Gentry. Knit in Crystal Palace Bamboozle, Lisa works with two colors in creating this crochet cardigan worked in treble crochet stitches and a raised vertical stitch. The cardigan has three quarter length sleeves and one, yes, one truly wonderful button up at the neck. Worked in pieces up the yoke and then finished in one piece. This jacket is truly all about the numbers. Designer Deborah Newton has selected La Grande Mohair from Classic Elite to design the cable confection cardigan for Leisure Arts. The design is one of many in the Deborah Newton cable collection book. Deborah specifically worked in multiple cable stitch patterns to create a beautiful flow. This pattern would be a wonderful for a class. Teach your knitters how to work different cables at the same time. Deborah has patterned this in multiple sizes with even the smallest size being oversized. Don't you just want to jump in and button up? <laughs> Skirts are in and Sue Hansen shows us what she has done with her dancing tied skirt for Blue Ridge Yarns. Knit in Jubilee, a wonderful bright colored yarn, Sue has worked a trapping lace stitch pattern that best shows off how the yarn changes colors. Now that's a skirt to go dancing salsa. Thank you ladies. Hand paint, handmade, and hand embellished. Everything is exciting and beautiful. Please welcome the garments from Claudia Hand Painted Yarns and Pagewood Farms. Designer and teacher Gwen Bortner brings us this Fair Isle extravaganza in Claudia Hand Painted Fingering Weight. This complete outfit is perfect when it's cold outside and you need to snuggle up. The tunic is created in a Fair Isle technique and the yoke is knit in the round so there are no steaks to worry about. Yes, finishing is super easy. The neck features a loose turtleneck. Gwen designed the tunic long enough so they can wear it over leggings. To finish the outfit, Gwen brings us coordinating mittens, hat, and scarf, and Claudia will package this in a kit. Claudia Hand Painted Yarns brings us our next garment from designer Ellen Warren. The Granny Takes a Trip jacket is just a scream. Granny squares are still a favorite of the 60s flower children, but this coat takes a trip into the future. Bright colors are set off by a darker background in this modular coat. The addition of bright goddess add a romantic style. Designed to fit snugly over the bust, the flaring hemline swings out in a cutaway style. Scallop trim is added to finish off all the details. Robin Page of Pagewood Farms joins forces with Fela Reese in bringing us the needle felted silk ruana. Three hand dyed silk scarves are laid out and Pagewood Tinkerbell fluff is placed over them at random. Using a needle felting tool and a brush, the fiber is struck into place at random. Quick, easy, and a lot of fun. Create three scarves that are then put together to create this wonderful ruana. Robin also created the multiple colors and everything is available in kit form. Leave it to Fela to take needle felting to the level of wearable art. Texture, technique, and turnaround treatments are all used to create the next series of garments. Joining us on the runway from Carabella Yarns and Jojo Land. Designer Berta Carpathian used the wonderful hairpin lace technique along with Magritte Bulky Yarn to create the Hairpin Lace Cardigan. Magritte is a soft yarn made with cashmere and merino. Hairpin Lace is created with a special tool and by wrapping yarn around bars and working a tie technique, panels of Hairpin Lace are created. Make as many panels as you need and create the length necessary by additional wrapping. Berta has created multiple long panels for the body and short crop panels for the sleeve. Another wonderful technique to use as a class. The fur trim crochet vest is also from designer Berta Carpathian and Carabella Yarns. Crocheted in Magritte DK in a glorious floral pattern. The flowers are then linked to each other, creating the body of the vest. The pure ecru color is perfect and will match any outfit. 
Rabbit fur is then attached to the edges, adding additional texture to an already incredible vest. Designer Li Zhuangjing brings us the swirl vest from Jojo Land. This vest has worked in Jojo Land Rhythm Superwash. This wonderful swirl design has become a signature for Jojo Land, and customers are always asking for more designs so they can extend their wardrobe. Here we have the swirl vest with panels front and back in the swirl pattern. Stitches are extended on each side in garter stitch in order to adjust for size. See how beautifully the colors move across the body? Thank you, ladies. Sophisticated in stitch pattern, in style, and in yarn choice, we are proud to bring you the next collection from Interweave and Fur Yarn by Paula Lishman. Designer Melissa Wirl's blanket coat is a dramatic garment made from the most basic of shapes, a simple rectangle. Textured cables on the front make an intriguing trim when worn. A knitting belt cinches at the waist for a flattering fit, or when worn loose, the coat has easy movement. Knit in beaver slide dry goods motrogot tweed and heather. The pattern will be available in Interweave Knits Fall Magazine 2009. From designer Shirley Payton's much-anticipated first book, Knitwear Design Workshop, the Twisted Flowers Pullover is a stunning display of lace, and it has a dramatic detachable cowl neck collar that can be worn as a hood for added flair. Knit in jade sapphire, 100% cashmere, this stunning pullover is only one of the many incredible designs to look forward to in Shirley's new book, Knitwear Design, workshop by Interweave Press. It's coming this fall. Fur designer Paula Lichman brings us the Muskoko stroller, knit in a sheared beaver and chinchilla fur yarns. This stunning jacket is machine knitting in Lichman's knit woven technique. The jacket features surface embellishments laid out in a variety of circular patterns, utilizing pelted strips of mink and fin raccoon, along with carved pelted sheepskin elements. Leather piping is also utilized on the body and trim. Pelted chinchilla is featured on the collar. And just to complete the outfit, Paula has added a tube hat. Thank you, ladies. <laughs>